morning, students. This is Economics Grade 12 Revision Program provided by the Ministry of Education of Ethiopia. This lesson is the third revision lesson of Unit 3 Consumer Behavior. It is about the budget line. Budget line is a line or curve that shows the various combinations of two commodities that a consumer can buy using his limited income with the given price of the two goods. Now, let's illustrate the theory of the budget line using the following example. Suppose, suppose Khalid has income of per 100, income 100, and he consumes two goods X and Y. Let's say good X orange and let's say good Y as banana. And the price of commodity X is given, which is per 10, and the price of commodity Y is given, which is per 5. Now, first, if Khalid spent the whole income for the purchase of good X, that means the price of X times the quantity of X plus the price of Y times the quantity of Y will give you income of a consumer. And from this information, income of a consumer is given which is 100 per and the price of commodity x is given which is 10 per and the price of commodity y is given which is per 5. Now if Khalid spend the whole income for the purchase of commodity x that means he will not buy any amount of y that means the price of commodity x times the quantity of commodity x plus the price of commodity y times the quantity of commodity y is zero which is equal to income of a consumer and this will give you the price of commodity x times the quantity of commodity x which is equal to income of a consumer when we divide both sides for price of x for price of x then we can cancel price of x for the price of x this is the amount of commodity x that a consumer can buy spending the whole income for the purchase of good x will be income divided by price of x this is the horizontal intercept or the x intercept of the budget line so from this example the amount of commodity x that Khalid can buy if the price of commodity x is per 10 and the income of Khalid is per 100 100 divided by 10 will give you 10 this is the amount of commodity x that Khalid can buy spending the whole income for the purchase of commodity x for example let's say x is orange and y is banana if the price of a kilogram of orange is per 10 and the price of a kilogram of banana is per 5 and if Khalid has 100 bir, if he spent the whole 100 bir for the purchase of orange he will buy 10 kilogram of orange this is the the horizontal intercept or the x intercept of the budget line secondly if Khalid spent the whole income for the purchase of commodity y that means the price of commodity x times co quantity of commodity x plus the price of commodity y times the quantity of commodity y will give you income of a consumer if he spent the whole income for the purchase of good y he will not buy any amount of x so the price of x times the quantity of x is zero plus the price of commodity y times the quantity of y equals to income of a consumer and this is zero plus price of y times the quantity of y equals to income of a consumer and this will give you the price of y times the quantity of y which is equal to income of a consumer and this is when we divide both sides for the price of y for the price of y and then we left with the amount of commodity y which is equal to income divided by the price of y this the quantity of y m divided by price of y will give you the amount of commodity y that a consumer can buy spending the whole income for the purchase of good y only so from our example income of a consumer is given which is 100 per and the price of commodity x is given which is 10 per and the price of commodity y is given which is per 5 and then the amount of commodity y that he can buy will be 100 divided by price of y which is per 5 then this is this is 20. 
This is the vertical intercept of the budget line or the y intercept of the budget line. You do have 100 bar in the price of a kilogram of orange is bar 10 in the price of commodity y or the price of a kilogram of banana is bar 5. Hence, if you spend the whole 100 bar for the purchase of banana, you can buy 20 bananas. You can buy 20 bananas. Now, by joining, by joining the vertical and horizontal intercepts of the budget line, we can construct the budget line. This is the budget line. It shows the various combinations of the two commodities X and Y that a consumer can buy using his limited income. Beyond this point, the consumer cannot buy any combinations. Let me show you the way of calculating the slope of the budget line. The Y intercept is the value of Y that you get by putting the value of X0. Then this is 0, 20. Similarly, the X intercept is the value of X that you get by putting the value of Y, 0. So this is 10, 0. So by taking any two intercepts, we can calculate the slope of a curve. And the slope is calculated by dividing the change in the change in the y for the change in x. This is change in y means y final minus y initial divided by x final minus x initial. So this is a slope. This is a slope. Let's take this 0 as x initial and this 20 as y initial. Let's take this 10 as x final and this 0 as y, y final. Now, when we substitute this information, we get the value of y final is 0 minus y initial is 20, 20, divided by the value of x final is 10 minus x initial is 0. And this will give you minus 20 over 10, which is equal to minus 2. So the slope of the budget line is minus 2. But there is other means of calculating the slope of the budget line. As I told you earlier, m over price of y is is the vertical intercept so we can substitute this m over price of y by 20 so this coordinate will be 0 0 m over price of y because the value of 20 is equal to m over price of y similarly the value of 10 is equal to m over price of x so this coordinate can be m over price of x zero m over price of x zero now let's take this zero as x initial and m over price of y as y initial let's take this this m over price of x as x final and zero as y final and then we can calculate the slope, the slope which is equal to the change in y4, the change in x, and which is y final minus y initial divided by x final minus x initial. So from this information, the value of y final is 0, and the value of y initial is m over price of y. This is y initial. And the value of x final is m over price of x, m over price of x minus, minus x initial is 0, x initial is 0. Then this will give you minus m over price of y divided by, this is m over price of x. We can multiply by the reciprocal. This is minus m over price of y multiplied by price of x divided by m. When we cancel m for m, for m, and we left with minus price of x divided by the price of commodity y. Commodity y. This tells us the slope of the budget line is the ratio of the price of the two goods. And when we substitute the previous example, the price of commodity x is given, which is minus the price of x is given, which is 10 bar divided by the price of y is also given, which is bar 5. And this will give you minus 2, which is similar with the way that we get with a usual formula of calculating the slope of the budget line. So I show you the slope of the budget line is the ratio of the price of the two goods. That means 
In other words, we can calculate the slope of the business line by dividing the price of X for the price of Y. Next, let's see the effects of changes in income and price on the budget line with increase in income or decrease in income there's a change in the budget line and with increase in price and decrease in price the change in the budget line so what are these effects first of all let's see the effects of changes in income while the price of the two goods remains unchanged here this is the original budget line and with there is no change in the price price of x was initially how many bar it was it was written it remains unchanged and the price of commodity y is bar 5 it remains unchanged the only factor that will be changed here is income of a consumer income of a consumer was was bar 100 let's say now the income is doubled and it increased to bar 200 so as a result, there's a change in the vertical and horizontal intercepts of the budget line. So M over price of X will give you the, the horizontal intercept, which is 200 divided by 10, which is 20. So the horizontal intercept of the new budget line is 20, 20. Similarly, the vertical intercept of the new budget line will be M over price of Y, which is equal to 200 divided by the price of commodity Y, which is 5, which is 40. This is the vertical intercept of the new budget line. When we join the vertical intercept and the horizontal intercept of the new budget line, we get the new budget line. So with increase in income of consumer, the budget line will shift outward, indicating that increase in income of a consumer allowed us to buy more of a commodity. So while price of the two goods remains unchanged, increase in income of consumer shifts the budget line outward. And the opposite holds is true. That means with a decline in income of consumer, with a decline in income of consumer, then the budget line will shift inward. For example, the price of commodity X was bar 10 and it remains unchanged. The price of commodity Y was bar 5, it remains unchanged. The only factor that will be changed is income of a consumer. It was 100 bar and now the income is halved and reduced to bar 50. So, with a decline in income of consumers, there's a change in the vertical and horizontal intercepts of the budget line. So the horizontal intercept of the budget line will be M over price of X, which is 50 divided by 10, which is equal to 5. And this is the vertical intercept of the new budget line. Then there is also another change vertical intercept of the new, the new budget line, which is M over price of Y, which is 50 divided by price of commodity y which is bar 5 and this will give you 10 this is the vertical intercept of the new budget line by joining the vertical and horizontal intercepts of the new budget line we can construct the new budget line so with decline in income of consumer then the budget line will shift inward indicating that it allows a consumer to buy less amount of a commodity now we are Waiting the effects of changes in income while the price of the two goods remains unchanged. Now let's see the effects of changes in price of both goods by equal percent while income of a consumer remains unchanged. First of all, let's see the increase in price of both goods by equal percent. That means the income of a consumer was 100 bar. It remains unchanged. But the price of commodity X was bar 10. Now let's see the effects of increase in price of X only if there's a rise in the price of x let's take the price of commodity x the price of commodity x is doubled and it increased to bar 20 and if there is an equal increase in both goods x and y if the price of x is doubled then the price of y must be doubled that means price of y is bar 5 and now the price of y is doubled and it increased to bar 10 now there's a change in the vertical and horizontal intercepts of the new budget line. That means M over price of X will give you the horizontal intercept of the new budget line, which is 100 divided by 20. This is 5. This is the horizontal intercept of the new budget line. Similarly, M over price of Y will give you the vertical intercept of the new budget line, which is 100 divided by 10 which is equal to 10. So this is the vertical intercept of the new budget line. 
So while income of a consumer remains unchanged with increase in price of both goods by equal percent, the budget line will shift inward, allowing us to buy less amount of a commodity. The opposite will this when when there is a fall in the price of both goods by equal percent, for example, income of a consumer was 100 bar and the price of commodity X was initially 10 bar. Now, less is the effect when the income is halved. Let's take the price of X declined to bar 5. And if the price of X is halved, then the, the price of commodity Y must be halved. Then price of Y was bar 5. Now the price of Y is halved and trades to bar 2.5. So there's a change in the vertical and horizontal intercepts of the new budget line. So the horizontal intercept of the new budget line will be M over price of X, which is equal to income of a consumer is 100 divided by the price of commodity X is bar 5 because it is halved and 100 divided by 5 is 20. This 20 is the horizontal intercept of the new budget line. Similarly, M over price of Y will give you the vertical intercept of the new budget line and the price of Y declined to 0.5, hence this is 40. So the vertical intercept of the new budget line is 40. So when we join the horizontal and vertical intercepts of the new budget line, then the budget line will be this kind of budget line. So there is an outward shift of the budget line. So while income of a consumer remains unchanged, with unequal percent decline in price of both goods, then the budget line will shift outward, indicating that it allowed us to buy more of a commodity. Now let's see the effect of changes in price of one of the goods only. In the previous lesson, we saw if there is a change in the price of both goods by equal percent. Now we are going to see if there's a change in the price of one of the goods only. First, Let's see when the price of commodity a X only increases. That means income of a consumer was 100 bar. It remains unchanged. And the price of commodity Y was bar 5. It remains unchanged. The only factor that will be changed here is the price of commodity X. Price of commodity X was initially, it was bar 10. And now let's see when the price is doubled. Now the price of X increased to bar 10 and then there is a change in the horizontal intercept of the new budget line. So M over price of X will give you income of a consumer which remains unchanged which is 100 bar divided by the price of commodity X is doubled. Now it increased to bar 20. Hence this is 20. Then this is 5. So the horizontal intercept of the new budget line is 5. Since there is no change in income of consumer and the price of commodity Y, there is no change in the vertical intercept of the budget line. So the curve will be such kind of curve. So we, with increase in price of good X only, the budget line will shift inward in the X axis. Similarly, if there is a decline in the price of commodity X only, the budget line will shift outward in in the X axis or horizontal axis. Now, again, when we see the effects of changes in price of Y only, price of Y only, since there's no change in the price of commodity X and income of a consumer, there's no change in the horizontal intercept of the budget line. But there's a change in the vertical intercept. So with increase in price of Y only, the budget line will shift inward in the vertical axis or Y intercept. With a decrease in price of Y only, again, there is no change in the price of X and income of a consumer. There is no change in price of X and income of consumer. Then there is no change in the horizontal intercept of the budget line. So the change will be in the vertical intercept. So with a decline in price of good Y, the budget line will shift outward in the vertical or Y intercept. Another important information, there is a consumer equilibrium under the indifference curve approach or the ordinal utility theory. 
Under the ordinal utilitarian or the indifference curve approach, the consumer equilibrium is obtained when the budget line is just tangent to the highest attainable indifference curve. Here, for example, you do have 50 bar in your pocket and the price of one is bar 50 and the price of one cut for is bar 100 and the price of one shiro is bar 20. Now there's a satisfaction when you consume shiro what but its satisfaction is lower and you do have the money. As in difference curve 3, there is cut for. The price of a cut for is 100 bar, but you cannot afford it. But it has a higher level of satisfaction. But you do have 50 bar in your pocket and the price of 1 times is bar 50. So you get the maximum level of satisfaction when this budget line is just tangent to the highest attainable indifference curve. So this amount of commodity Y and this amount of commodity X is the maximum satisfaction that you get from the consumption of the two commodities. At the optimum point, at the maximum level of satisfaction, the slope of the indifference curve is always equal to the slope of the budget line. The slope of the indifference curve, as you learned in the previous lesson, is the marginal rate of substitution and the slope of the budget line is the ratio of the price of the two goods that means minus price of x divided by the price of commodity y so so at the optimum point at the maximum level of satisfaction the marginal rate of substitution is always equals to the ratio of the price of the two goods this is all about the third lesson revision on theory of consumer behavior. Stay safe, stay home. Thank you.